we know we're unhappy. But what's to be done, you know? I mean, we have a million minor fixes and people peddling all of these things. But somehow salvation itself becomes an impediment to salvation. I mean, once you see 500 forms of salvation being sold at prices you can't afford, the very notion of salvation becomes obscene, you know? It becomes one more layer in the obscene layering that takes meaning out of life and disempowers us and turns us into a subscription customer. That seems to be how we always are being forced to end up. Well, the only way out of this, I think, is to, um, it takes courage because you have to turn your back on your culture in the most profound sense there is, because there are many ways to turn your back on your culture. I mean, if everyone's wearing gray, you can wear green. That's one way to turn your back on a culture. But another way is to break its laws. Now, that's a little more serious and, you know, brings in big philosophical issues. But in fact, the culture is an enormous arrow pointing go this way and you know what lies that way impoverishment madness degradation and death that's where the culture is pointing you can see it you can see it just look where we're headed uh, uh, if everyone on earth aspires to the kind of lifestyle that you people can enjoy by virtue of having paid the money to be at a scene like this, there isn't enough glass, metal, and plastic in the planet to make that many celicas and uh, jaguars and bluebirds and snowbirds and all the rest of this crap. So what is needed is uh, an awakening. What is really interesting about the psychedelic experience is it shows you a mental universe that you not only never suspected existed, but that you could not have suspected existed. I don't think there's another way to it. I mean, I'm not ready to categorically say there's no other way to it and occasionally especially at gatherings like this people grab me and assure me there are other ways to it and they say you know if you just i want you to meet babaji he's as good as psilocybin and, oh really I, I i want to meet this man <clears throat> because because I mean, I, I, let me say a little bit more about this. I would like to believe that in principle you could do, you could get to these places on the Natch. Only in principle, however, because if some people say, well, you know, these things you describe on DMT and psilocybin, uh, I can show you how to do that naturally. No, thank you. Are you kidding? Thank God I have the drug as a kind of uh, marker so that I know when I'm getting close to that stuff. If I woke up one morning in that place and I couldn't tell myself I'd taken mushrooms, I would define myself as seriously discombobulated and wait to see what happens, you know? Uh, and people say, well, don't you think you ought to be able to do it by yourself? And I love this question because uh, the answer is you can't do it by yourself. That's the entire message of the last 10,000 years of human history. The self is insufficient. The ego will not suffice. You, the only way you're ever going to get anywhere is you must humble yourself to the point where you admit that you can't do it unless you have help from someone whose idea of home is a cow flop. <laughs> if you're willing to humble yourself to that degree, then maybe we can get somewhere.